So here's some diagnosing going on. Uh, this is an older bike, it's a Jameis. We got uh, disc brakes, old juicy, so they're Avid, not SRAM, before SRAM changed their name. Uh, but just rotating this. I mean, uh, we do have a, a loose caliper, so we could be hitting a little bit of that. But once it's it's straightened out, I already did some, some checking on this. Um, the two brake pads have a spring in the middle, which keep the pads open and away from rubbing the rotor. Well, it's the shape of the spring is like this. So one of the legs is actually bent. It's either in or up and out. So it's no longer conforming to the shape of the pad and it is now rubbing the rotor. I tried to straighten it up, but they're super sensitive. Um, they're already tweaked pretty badly. Um, I cannot straighten it up. So either get a brand new spring. If we can't locate just a spring, then we're getting a whole new brake set. Let's get this guy off. Downshift your derailleur, get that chain in the smallest gear, relax that rear derailleur, and kind of rotate that whole body back. So, see what else is going on here. So take a peek at this. So here's the top of the caliper. This is a metal spring right here. This needs to stay inside. This can get bent. Um, I used to take these out on accident before I knew any better, but they were getting bent every time you take it out and put it back in. There's a spring that kind of clips here and here. Little tiny side clips that clip on the side. That actually allows your pads to come up and clip into it, so it kind of locks it in there. That's how the pads get locked into this caliper. So we got two little tabs. These pads are like uh, two ping pong paddles. You're gonna grab one and just pull directly down, real stiff and hard, boom. And then grab the other one. So these are the two pads. We can, I mean, wear-wise, I mean, we got a little funky scrape here, but pretty smooth. Um, not too worried about that. This guy over here has a little bit of a gouge right there. So I bet you that's where the spring was hitting. So if this is sitting on the bottom, this is where we grabbed them. These are the tops here. And then the spring. Notice this is these are offset. These are over to this side. It's, these aren't in the middle. So when I get my spring here, this little hook or piece right here is going to match with this. So I'm going to do something like that rather than if I flip this around. And this sits over here. So we want that little hump on the spring to be in the middle or closer to this side over here. But these little legs are gonna sit on the edges of the pad. Just like that. So it makes more sense to when the pad is thicker. So then they catch the edge right there. So these little legs are actually not flipped correctly. So a little tweaked. So they were kind of sticking out and hitting the, the rotor. So I'm gonna throw some new ones in there and see if that makes a difference. All right, so this guy, we're saying this does not have to come out, but if you need to take it out and inspect it, you can do so. You just have to be very gentle. This curvature kind of goes in right about here. So we just do some gentle bends, there we go. So it has those curves right there. Just like that. So it's got these little, little hook guys on the sides. There's two, one on each side. You can kind of tweak these a little bit, maybe bend them outward a little bit. And there's an area they're gonna grab inside here. So these are pretty thin, so that you don't wanna be taking this out if you don't have to. If it got a little bent up, you can pop them out, try to straighten them up, and then get them back in. Start one end, and then just kind of flex. But we need one, two, three, four sides to kind of bend and go in. So I'm gonna help this side with Give it a little push. Okay. And this side looks like it's sticking up a little, so I'm gonna give it a push down. But that's about it. So I'm gonna try this aftermarket brand here. Something I got off of Amazon. So you know how that goes. So they come with the spring in it already, so it's like a sandwich. So you notice, got the metal tabs here on the end of the brake pad, then the spring, that little nub, is right here, just in the middle, right there between them. So when I open this up, 
see who wants to release. So it's just hugging the outline. It kind of stays in place on its own. But we're gonna go ahead and, we can try and insert this as a unit. These do not say left or right specific. And one of these little tabs on the original was had a slight bend to it. And I believe the bend was gonna go on the inside away from the edge. So I'm gonna try, I'm not sure which direction to try, but I'm gonna try and stick this in as a unit. And if you're having a tough time shoving this in, you wanna make sure that those piston cups are pushed back in to the housing. So let's do that first. So let's use this guy here. This is the PP 1.2, it's a park tool, it's a pad spreader. Um, be very careful, cause inside, there's just a little tab in the middle. It's not a large flat surface. We don't want to bend that tab or break it. So you can even use a plastic uh, tire lever for starters. But if you know what to deal with, just be careful when using this. So just going left, right, left, right until equally both get pushed in at the same time. Because as you're pushing one side, the other side wants to get pushed out. So we have to slowly walk them back in. So I'm gonna go ahead and install it with the, the metal upward facing towards the rear of the bike for this one. And it's just a matter of getting the right angle. Okay, so I got them slid in. Now they need to hopefully click and bind in there. So I'm just gonna grab one at a time. And I like these needle nose pliers right here, a little bit thicker than those park tool ones I have, a little beefier on the nose. So I'm just gonna grab one of these and you wanna just wanna go in line the way they slid up. So just a, a, a firm push upward without pushing the whole bike. I don't know if that did anything, but. And it could be in there, but I'm gonna give a gentle tug outward. Yeah, that one's sliding too easy. So it could be incorrect. So I went ahead and flipped these around. So metal tab closest to the front, closest to that uh, hydraulic line. Then I'm gonna give it a push. Ooh. I think this one is, is the right fit. It's not quite clicking in. Maybe the spring got a little that top spring got a little bent up, but for the most part, these are sitting well. They're actually sitting all the way up. So it's gonna let you know which, which way is right. All right, we'll get that wheel back in there. And you can get a visual on the top too. Now I can see the top of the brake pad, so I can get a, may not come up on camera too well, I hope it does. But the two little prongs of the brake pad, I can see one here, so that reached the top edge of this metal, and there's one right here. So I'm pretty, very confident that the pad went, came all the way up and made uh, close to contacting this metal spring here.